reach the orbital spire. Farewell, Captain. And hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Space Marine. I think we're at episode 11 now? Yeah. Episode 11 and things are really ramping up towards the uh, finale. We've uh, just said goodbye to Sedonis rather abruptly. Poor Sedonis here was uh, taken out rather uh, by surprise from behind by the big bad Nemeroth. Chapter 15, Prince of Demons. Reach the Orbital Spire. Get to the Orbital Spire to thwart the Chaos Lord's ascension to demonhood. So, uh, yes, Nemeroth killed Sidonis. Took the power source that I had given to Sidonis for safekeeping. And is going to use the power source to ascend to demonhood. I don't know the actual process. I've sort of forgot. Some sort of rituals involved. And, uh... He'll become immortal. I'm gonna stop him. Yes. So here's my current loadout. I've decided that I do not like the Storm Bolter very much. It's just too much of a halfway between the Bolter and the Heavy Bolter. So it's got none of the range of the heavy bolter and it's got none of the stopping power of the heavy bolter all it does is fire faster which in most cases is not quite good enough because uh even at medium range i find that a lot of the uh bullets from the storm bolter do not hit its mark reliably enough but yep, I'm going off to save the day. I'm leaving uh, Leandros and Mira behind. So it's say my final farewells to Sedonis. You're a good man. Bye bye now. And because I'm uh, compulsive about this stuff, I have to just grab everything before I go. Bye. But I'm stuck with it for now until I get. <clears throat> Pardon me, until I get another opportunity to switch. If I do get a chance, I want to get the melt again back. Hard work occupies the body and distracts the mind. It is a noble and worthy thing. I mean, for close range fighting, give me the melt again over the storm bolter any day. of aliens permeates this facility but it is tolerable because it represents progress i acquired specimens for experimentation orc tau eldar even a tyranid lictor which nearly caused a revolt among my tech priest allies i designed the weapon to use the warp energies to target the weak points in the xenos brain and rupture them that is the tidy theory when I put it into practice, however, the specimen's head explodes. Distasteful, but effective. The weapon works. That's a mad scientist. Ugh, plasma gun. It's still better than the Storm Bolter, I'm being honest here. Right. Ooh. I don't really have to go back, but I want to go back anyway. <laughs> Get it all. Get it all. Now, Thunder Hammer I don't want yet because it restricts the weapons I can use. I will be restricted to using the plasma pistol and the bolter. But before I fight the final boss, 
I do want the Thunder Hammer. So I have to be ready for the next weapon swap station to switch to the Thunder Hammer. But I don't think it's time yet. If memory serves correctly, the, the boss battle is going to happen in Chapter 16, the final boss. But I've got one final gauntlet to push through before I get a chance to do battle with Nemeroth. Nice toss. Oh my god. Keep pushing forward here. Excuse me. They're very pest-like. Very pest-like. I thought a gang of uh, corrupted guardsmen would have given me this much trouble. Asshole. Oh, so annoying. They just literally like fleas, like fleas. Landing. Preparing to assault the orbital spire. 
It may be severed, but it's still the enemy's strong point. The fleet is preparing an all-out assault. Their attack will not be enough to stop the forces of chaos. I know. Good luck, Titus. Thank you, Mira. Thank you. Glad I hung on to that last can, I'll tell you that much. I do like the, uh, what do you call it, the ripple effect when you have uh, heat. You can see the heat going through the air. I don't know. This, this, the heat and the smoke combined. Yeah, yeah, that stuff. It's cool. the door behind me. No going back now. Oh. No thunder hammer. That's okay. I'm not getting the chainsaw, that's for sure. Ah, uh, no. I'll keep the last cannon. I use it sparingly. Oh, you son of a bitch. Let's look at the wrong guy. There's somebody else. I thought he was gonna come in. I thought he was gonna come in from the side tunnel. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, so annoying. So annoying, man. I should have just prepared to greet him at the most obvious point down the middle. That's annoying. That's really annoying.
I had already used my uh, fury because of this guy. I'll just go down the middle just so I can start shooting at him. I wish I had the melt a gun here because we could make sure to work with those champions. Audio log. Ah. Benjamin, we have to leave Epsilon Center. The orcs are coming. I'm so sorry, Ben. I can't leave you the next breadcrumb because I don't have a plan anymore. We've lost your mother. I'm so afraid we've lost you, too. I have to keep Hannah safe. That means we can't stay in one place long. But I promise you, Benjamin, I will find you. I will never stop looking. That's sad. Ah, uh, still no Thunder Hammer. No, no worries, no worries. It's, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. No vengeance launcher. Stick to the Laz. Now I just need to re up on the uh, grenades. What the hell? Excuse me, I hit him twice. There we go. Excuse me. Put another one of those. Oh shoot. Oh, they're all dead. That's good. I'll just stay here where I have unlimited ammo. Thank you very much. Where is he? Oh, there you are. It's hard to see in the distance.
Not doing good for grenades. Oh. It's a waste. Oh shit. Suck it. You know what? May as well. May as well. I don't think I used the plasma gun, but not just in case, you know. Alright, okay, it's time to leave the uh the safety of the ammo depot. Do I even hit anyone? Too easy. Sick more fiends on me. If they are, then I'm gonna keep the plasma gun equipped. Oh Oh, he's dead. Oh no, he's still alive. Oh, you son of a whore. You can't have... Oh, you can, you can turn around. I don't need the uh, last cannon for you. Did make, make me waste a few less cannon rounds. Some of the. That was awkward. At least give me time to pick up the heavy bolter, you know? They give you no time to get around the other side to pick up this big boy. Wonder if I can still use it.
Hopefully. Some of your demons. Oh, screw the storm bolter. <gasps> oh hell yes. Oh hell yes. Wait a second. No, I got the melter. Why is Oh okay, I still have the uh Oh what did they Oh, okay, there's some kind of bug, some kind of visual bug. Yeah, I was uh, just a little worried before because uh, I'd swapped to the melter gun and then the ammo readout on the uh, heavy bolter uh, read as one. So I was like, oh, did it just glitch out my ammo? But then, uh, yeah, then it put up this thing to reload, which is weird because you, you don't need to reload the heavy bolter. You just run out of ammo when you're done with it. But I just hit reload and it just uh, reset the uh, ammo counter, which is nice. Because I still got a few more rounds to go, at least. In large numbers, these guys are really dangerous. They do a lot of damage. But Mac, can't you say that about any enemy type? Well, technically, yeah. is gone. Just eat up those bullets for me, please. Eat them up. I don't know if the volume is high enough for you to hear, but listen carefully to the background music. It's really messed up. It's really, really unsettling sometimes. Somewhat underrated, the soundtrack. The composer did a fantastic job. Unfortunately, I'm just only able to walk while I'm carrying the heavy bolter. We have made it to the lift. Ultramarines, this is Captain Titus. Captain Titus, the whole glance of Joe is at your disposal, Captain. I must reach the orbital spire. Tell your pilot to make his approach. Yes, sir. Do I have one more battle here before getting on, getting aboard the ship, or what?
Yep. Of course. Uh, here we go, chapter 16. Spire of Madness. Alright, well. Made here a little sooner than expected. Oh, I remember this bridge. Yeah, this, this bridge is uh, quite the grind. Hey, some battle Hunt brothers. Ravis, squad Corvus reporting in, Captain Titus. We joined the Liberation Fleet at Bakar, along with a squad of Black Templars. Unleash the fury you showed in the Aurelian Crusade, and we will be glad to have even a few blood ravens with it. You may rely on that, Captain. Then join the forces driving into the Demon Host, and stop any enemies trying to follow me up the orbital spire. None shall find us wanting. Ha <laughs> ha! Honor and glory, Blood Raven. Blood Ravens, let's go. Let's fucking go. One down there. Alright. Oh, get out of my way, please! Stop blocking me! Blood Ravens, please. They're advancing nicely. Actually, this bridge isn't so bad at all, and we're already halfway across. Uh, is that is supposed to be killed? Maybe not. Just wasted two shots on it. What a beautiful place. I'll, I'll be I'll be sad to leave. Nah. Get me off this rock. <laughs> Raven alone. Where's the uh, sorcerer? He dead already? Sorry, am I lagging behind? Ground forces, Ultramarines drop pod 
Incoming. take out some ammo. Squad regulars making planet four. No touchdown imminent. Ultramarine, deploy on my mark. Heavy infestation at drop point validus. Guys, do something. Cleanse and purge. Ooh, I got an achievement for killing 50 Chaos Space Mates. Have I killed so many already? God damn. That's a lot of dead uh, Chaos Space Marines. Make sure I don't miss any audio logs here. There's a lot of noise, so I wouldn't be able to hear their audio cues. Oh, we got one more drop pod, eh? What do we have? Oh, there's, there's nothing. This fake. There's nothing. What are you shooting at? What are you shooting at, bud? Your orders, Captain. Ow. Chaos forces. Ow. I must reach the orbital spire. Yes, sir. Oh, look. Hey, regen my uh, armor. I have a lot of ammo for this gun. I don't have to be so timid with my shots. I can kind of go full auto pretty easily on it. The recoil is not too bad at all. Captain Titus. Yes. Squad Solonus reporting in. Manufacturum Nazis is secure. Very good. Your orders, Captain. Contain the chaos threat here. Understood. Hey, the bridge wasn't so bad at all. I got a little help, you know. Brothers. It was an honor. Thunderhawk ready for transport, Captain Titus. I will need all your skill, pilot. It will take you into the Eye of Terror if you ask it, Captain. The orbital spire will do for today, brother. Please let me get a Thunder Hammer. Is it? I should have to. Oh, yeah, they just give me the thunder hammer. Regardless, They're like here you go. Actually, this is gonna be a little tricky because oh, I get to jump back. No, brother. Rejoin our forces and bring fury to the enemy. This battle is mine. Yes, sir. I'm done, never off. Nemi! That's how you do it. Anyone 
else. Anyone else want a taste of the hammer? Well, looks like, looks like I have to go to you. I know about the ground pound. What do you think I've been doing this whole time? This madness will not stop me, and neither will you. Generate my shields. Oh, annoying. No. To the attack. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just like that, they're all dead. End up this area. I've encountered unexpected results. Warp energies affect different species in different ways. Essentially, I can tune this weapon to cause maximum damage to whatever enemy we face. If humans are caught in the blast wave, they will not be harmed. Good news, I suppose. <laughs> I've not slept in two days. The more I use the warp device, the stronger the assault on my psychic shield. Uh, don't burn the candle on both ends there, Drogan. Oh, too late. You already burnt it. Nice and good. You paid the price. The world grows dark. Sure does. Come on, boys. Let's play. Artillery. Woo, look at that view. This full Oh shit. Oh crap. The blood of martyrs <laughs> is the seed of the Imperium. Oh, they don't uh, put the invisible guardrails when you have the jetpack on. I forgot about that. Anyway. I hit the checkpoint already, I guess, right? Yeah. I heard audio log. What's well, not up here? Hmm. We're not fall again. Hmm. Oh, it's back here. Come on. What? It didn't play. I've encountered unexpected results. The warp energies affect different species in uh... different ways. Essentially, I can tune this weapon to cause maximum damage to whatever enemy we face. If humans are caught in the blast wave, they will not be harmed. Good news, I suppose. I've not slept in two days. The more I use the warp device, the stronger the assault on my psychic shield. I need rest. Wait a second. Is that is that bugged out? Because I picked this up already. 
Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird because it's, it's a duplicate. Oh shit. Brothers thought the same, traitor. Their crimes are not hiding. These guys are so annoying, man. Oh my goodness. We gotta get some light back now. Out of fuel. Bullshit. You're just having too much fun. That's what happened. You're just having too much goddamn fun. Uh, well, it's not that way. Is it? Oh, no. Tell you where to go. Interesting. You have to go back. Poor Captain Titus can't jump without his jump pack. I didn't do anything in that last section except hammer the shit out of people. <laughs> well, the question is, do I keep the thunder hammer at the cost of not being able to use the Melta or the uh, Laz Cannon? I don't have the jump pack anymore, so... It really depends if this is if this is it, if this is the boss fight. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Without the jump pack, the thunder hammer is not nearly as good. Yeah, I'm gonna go for utility, flexibility over raw melee strength. There we go. Why would you record this in an audio log and just leave it lying around? The things people do in video games.
What? None of them died from that explosion? I feel like I should be using more grenades. You know. Okay, not the most interesting room. Just passing through though. I think this is it. We're ascending to the top of the spire to meet Nemi. Yeah. Is it boys? Boys and girls? Sidonis, and for the Emperor, I will finish this. Oh, that's cool. Time to die, Nemeroth. No weapon swap station, eh? And the save point well as well. The slaves of the false emperor who dared claim it as their interesting. No thunder hammer option. Okay. Okay, why well, how the weapons that I want to use? Guess we'll have to make deal with the power axe. Well, Namroth is here. Do I get a cutscene or anything? Oh, chapter 70. This is the last chapter. Okay. Do I get a cutscene or what? There we go. I return your dark relic to you. I offer up this world and all those upon it. I ask for the reward that was promised. 
You want to talk to your guards? I will send you to them. Admitted Titus. The power of chaos is within you, calling to this relic. Imagine the Ultramarine dominating this galaxy in glorious conquest, with you at their head. Imagine the power you could wield. As a slave to chaos, nothing you say can tempt me from the path of honor, or from avenging the deaths of my battle brothers. You are no threat to me now, Ultramarine! Spent way too much time just like not getting into position. You challenged me to recover this fragment. Oh. Well, at least I give you a chance to just pick up ammo all over again. Okay. Do I have to watch the cutscene again? The slaves of the false emperor who dared claim it as their own lie dead. Say of the explosive canisters for the uh, Chaos Marines and soldiers. Admitted, Titus. I can't skip. The power of chaos is within. Oh, I can. You Beauty. are no threat to me now, Ultramarine. <laughs> Yo, yo. Stop my ascension. Grant me your favor. Corrupt my flesh. Make me demon kind. Show this. Shit. What the f? It's sh I just get melted in seconds. Ugh. You challenged me to. Oh, okay, okay. Well. This yeah, the thing is though, they're just shielded until they get out of that bubble. Oh, I forgot about that. I should have just noticed. <sighs> so annoying, and they there's just so many of them, and they just melt me in, in a matter of seconds, man. But at least I can skip the cutscene. I just got to play peekaboo. I think I have a position by itself here. It's pretty good. Honestly, either side is good. There's one. There's, there's guys that are gonna come along here, trying to flank me. So. I return your dark relic. You are no threat to me now, Ultramarine!
Make me demon kind. Show this fool the true nature of power. Space Marine! Oh my god! Oh man, I don't remember it being this bad. You challenged me to This is this is bad. Like oh man. And I have done it. The slaves of the false emperor who dared claim it as their own. Try and stay on the right, because no the guy who comes up on the left is, the, is a Chaos Space oh, Marine, and I can't take him up that quickly. Activated. This is insane. This is insane. You challenged me to recover this fragment of your power. And I have done so. Yeah, this is uh this is bullshit. This is bullshit. The slaves of the false emperor who dared claim it as their own. Okay, just uh, calm it down, calm it down. Serious? God, was it this hard? Okay, okay, okay. This is this is yeah. Whew. 
I return your dark relic to you. You are no threat to me now, Ultramarine! Corrupt my flesh. Make me demon kind. Show this fool the true nature of power. Why is there no... The, the grenade just exploded right away. Oh, man. I am really getting tired of this sequence. I... I'm actually surprised that I got through this sequence the first time as easily as I remember. Actually, I don't remember too much about it, but did not have this much trouble. Oh, fuck off. I was pressing A to skip the cutscene. Ultramarine! Why is he fucking dead? Fuck. Okay, I need to I need to chill out for a sec, but uh I shot the guy. I had to shoot the guy one extra time. I just want that to be on record.
our legions are pouring. The slave of the false emperor was trying to save this planet from one invasion. Instead, he ushered in another. Done here? Killing my servants matters little. I am unassailable. The gods of chaos protect me. Oh, wait a second. With the very energies of creation. You forget, Nemeroth. I am no stranger to the touch of the war. Oh, I don't actually have a proper uh, boss fight with this guy. That's what I I remember now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, this is this. this, this. Messing up the uh There we go. Actually hitting you at all. Will I find your arms open in A true son of chaos. Never. The, one of the worst quick time style events I played. How long is this fall, by the way? Oh, just keep mashing. Fury again. Come on, 
break free. Oh, my thumb. Oh, take your head. Oh, and you're gone. You're done. You're done. I don't understand how Captain Tides knew to just crush the power source to to end the uh end the madness. Look there, Ultramarine. You have saved this world. I see that Ultramarines are human, after all. More than you know, Lieutenant. Inquisition is here. His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by chaos, Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic. You lie! Only an agent of chaos could withstand such warp exposure. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain, or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command. Not to mention those who stand at your side. Ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition will destroy you, Mira. And the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us, shape us as ultramarines, teach us to hold duty and honor sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a space marine. And you have failed.
we go. End of game title card. I remember Brian Wood. Wood. Oh, I remember. That was tragic. Yeah, Brian Wood uh, worked for Relic, and he—I uh, believe—he passed away uh, from a car accident all those years ago. Uh, game director Raphael Van Van Lerup. He uh, went on to start his own studio and. Uh, make the uh, indie game I, I'm gonna forget the name again yeah I forgot the name <laughs> but it came out in the early 20 teens it was a uh, one of the early indie survival games so you're out in the woods in the cold by yourself is in the first person perspective oh my goodness I forgot the name of the game anyway it'll come back to me after uh, I, I stop recording the video here um, yeah, so that is it. I, uh, I have to say this is probably the most angry <laughs> in rage field you will see, uh, me. I think this is the most rage, my most rageful video that I've ever recorded after 500 plus videos on this channel. How many, after how many years, like 12, 12 years of running this channel. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever been so mad uh, while playing a game. That that last fight, I um, I'd really forgotten how difficult. I mean, back when the game had just came out, and back when I was still a tester, that final battle wasn't too bad at all. It was those type of battles where it's like, okay, the first time, first couple times through, you. You kind of learn how the, the 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 enemy waves come, and then you just kind of deal with it. Make a couple mistakes, but it's no big deal, and then you you get through it. I had <laughs> a lot more trouble this time. Uh, chalk it up to just uh, just just being rusty, just not being as sharp as I used to be. Uh, but yeah. I, I had in my mind though after clearing out the however like the four or five waves of enemies that I would actually have like a bit of a a brawl on on foot with uh, Nemroth and then we would start uh, falling down uh, the 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 chasm together and have that little quick time fisticuffs but. <laughs> the final battle of Nembroth is all just a quick time. Am I just remembering like an old an older build of the game where there's actually some standard hand to hand fighting? Maybe. But um Yeah, it was I remember the, the final quick time sequence not being very impressive. And then when we finally released the game, they pretty much kept it in with very few changes. And it's just equally unimpressive. Like it's, it's cinematic, yeah, but in terms of just satisfaction, Probably not what it could be, and I and the, the ending, the the final cutscene is a is a real downer. The way the game ends, ends in a very much a, a downer and a cliffhanger. But fortunately, Space Marine Two is really just a, a you know just a number of hours away from being unlocked. It's like one sleep away from unlocking for for me. Uh, I am a gold edition purchaser so I'll get to put my hands on the game sometime tomorrow not during the day unfortunately I will still be at work but uh, I'll start downloading it and probably uh, on Friday the 7th I'll uh, start streaming uh, Space Marine 2 and it pretty much just picks up 
where this game leaves off. Uh, we have the same protagonist, Captain Titus. And uh, he's just... Uh, it's supposed to be many, many years after the events of this game. I think it's about a, a century after uh, the events of Space Marine 1. So... You get to find out what happens to him after the uh, Inquisition, Inquisition takes him away. So that is going to be pretty exciting. I am. Uh, I I spent most of the day just watching uh, reviews on the side as I worked. Most reviews are uh, pretty good for Space Marine Two. I think it's averaging about somewhere in the low 80s right now on Open Critic and Metacritic. So, uh, yeah, Leandro is played by Noah Huntley. Yeah, there's a fair amount of hate for Leandro. So I wasn't a fan of him either. Uh, kind of seen as a bit of a turncoat. Tattletale. From what I read, from people who maybe know <laughs> Warhammer 40k and Space Marine lore a bit better than I, um, I think the proper protocol would have been for uh, Leandros to report Titus to uh, the the Ultramarines chapter chaplain first, and then they would have taken it to the uh, chapter master before approaching the Inquisition. But you know, procedures, processes. When you're in the field, you know, the rule book goes out the window, ironically, where Leandro is being such a stickler for the rules. He didn't follow protocol when it comes to handling uh, suspected uh, corruption within their own ranks. But hey, that's just uh, some people's view of it. I just thought Leandro was annoying. Well, we're not going to watch the entire credits here. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to drone on too much about uh, Space Marine 2 before I even get a chance to play it. I'll, uh, I'll just leave it by saying I'm, look, I'm very much looking forward to trying it out in the next day or so. And uh, yeah, please look out for uh, live streams of Space Marine 2 on my channel, both here on YouTube and on Twitch. And there'll be a lot more content for Space Marine 2 in the coming weeks. But whew, yeah, that uh, that was quite the finale. Much harder than I expected. <laughs> I'm sorry, if you're sensitive to swearing and, and uh, experiencing online frustrations of, of people uh, playing games online, I apologize. But thank you very much for watching this episode and uh, through to the completion of this replay series of Space Marine 1. It's been really fun. If you enjoyed the video, please like and do consider subscribing to the channel. I very much appreciate all of your support. And with that, I will leave you all. Um, have a great day, afternoon, evening, wherever you may be. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.